Howdy, tiny people trapped in my laptop. I'm Finn, and welcome back to the World's Loneliest Podcast, a podcast where it's dark, lonely, and you're trapped here with me. You you, you simply, you, you cannot leave. It's bad. You can't. You can't go anywhere. You're stuck here. So, uh, I got plenty of topics today. First thing I want to start off with is the reception to episode two compared to the reception of episode one. Uh, episode 1 got nearly 600 views. Very fun. A lot of likes, a lot of interaction, lots of comments and nice things being said. Episode 2 got uh, 8% of that, which is disheartening, but it's okay. It's alright. Ups and downs happen on YouTube. Ups and downs happen. Oh, I haven't drank anything in hours. I'm so happy that went down my gullet. Um, it was kind of weird posting episode two more structured and well put together and I think higher quality and then people not being into it. So for this episode, I think I'm just going to go back to what I did in episode one where I just don't have like a list of stuff. I'm just kind of going to talk about what I want to talk about. I don't know. Maybe you guys will like that more. We'll see, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, so... I guess we can get straight into some of the the, the stuff going on, because in episode one, I talked about issues with my dad, and then in episode two, I finished recording right before I went to go pick up my dad, and now he's been home for a week and some change, and it's been fucking hell. Now I finally, I finally get to talk about all that on an episode of, of the podcast. Is that how fucked my hair? No. Okay, it's just the way it's sitting. Um, but now I get to rant about my dad. Um, so if you're not interested in hearing about my personal life, this is not the show for you. If you're interested in it, stick around because I've got some. Ooh, I've got some shit to say. So Monday we pick him up from the like prison thing, and. We're still in the prison parking lot. We're we're not even we haven't even like actually like checked his like little ID thing out. We're still in their parking lot. And this man goes on a rant about how the prison is ran by uh I can only say two of these words. Ran by faggots, ran by retards, and ran by a certain word that starts with N uh that a white man shouldn't be saying. Um, and he's ranting about that in front of a prison that is majorly black people running it. Uh, but he was yelling those not nice terms at them while we're in their parking lot. Very smart for you to do. Um, then we go and we get, uh, we get fast food. I was going to say the name of it and I was like, I don't I don't know if it's called that elsewhere. I think it has a different name. Here it's called Rallies, but I'm pretty sure it's called, like, um, it's got a different name somewhere. I can't remember what it is, but the name changes. It's just really, really greasy fast food. It wasn't very good, but I don't, I didn't care. Um, and we're in the parking lot of this place, and he gets out for some fucking reason, and he... Sees a black man on a bike, like a like a two wheeled bicycle, no engine or anything, just a regular bicycle. And this man is just going on with his day. I assumed he was uh, one of the homeless people because there's a very high homeless population in that area, and a lot of them wear uh, wear like the same thing, and they they oftentimes uh, are very malnourished, and they and they ride bikes everywhere because it's cheaper. Um, so that's that's my assumption. Could be wrong though. Um, and he decides to threaten that black man for absolutely no reason. Basically just for being black. He calls him a slur. Uh, he gets out, walks towards him, and the man's just on him. But I, he didn't say anything. He didn't do anything. He didn't hit nobody. Nothing. He's literally just riding his bike. And he, he gets across the sidewalk, and my dad is very 
unathletic at this point because he's been locked up for three years, so he does not catch up with him, luckily, because that would have... I feel bad for the people that he's around. Um, so that sucked. And that and that's, that's within, like, ten minutes. All that is within, like, ten minutes of him getting out. Also, we had to wait two extra hours. Uh, we were supposed to pick him up at, like, noon, and we didn't get out of there until, like, 2.30. So that's... Um, and then the first thing he said about me was a, was a comment about my earrings. Uh, he, he called me a faggot for having pierced ears, which I am, but he doesn't know that. He was just trying to make me feel bad about the fact that I have my ears pierced, which he does stuff like that all the fucking time. Um, he then proceeded to, uh, bully how, how, uh, how, like, small I am. I'm taller than him. I am five foot seven. My father's like five foot five on a good day, and he made fun of me for being small. Um, he is extremely wide, uh, and I guess he was calling me skinny. Uh, but he knows that I have medical issues that don't allow me to gain weight. So fuck that guy, right? Um, but that's pretty much all he had to say to me on Monday. That's pretty. That's pretty much fucking it. Um, And then we get home, and I went to bed. I said, fuck this, and I went to sleep, because I, I didn't. We get home, and it's like fucking four-ish, and I just went to bed, because I didn't, want, I didn't want to deal with everything. And there's already ten people that live here, and I didn't want to fucking deal with all of their reactions to him, and agreeing with him on shit, and blah, 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 blah. Tuesday, yay, Tuesday. I go to the dentist. And this asshole makes me drive. So I drove to my dentist appointment. Got fucked. Like, a lot of issues in here that need to be fixed. Some have been fixed. Some I have to wait on. But fucked. Um, and after being, like, all fucked up, barely able to, like, pronounce words and shit, he thinks it's a good idea to let me drive again wants me to. I say no, and he drives. Um, so then from there, we go out to an area that's like an hour away in the woods. Uh, for those who do not know, I'm allergic to grass, dirt, uh, lake and swamp water, fucking wood, lots of metals, uh, a bunch of food, any type of oil that can be secreted from an animal. Uh, fucking a lot. There's there's a lot on the list. I'm ex- I'm I'm extremely hyper hy- hyper aller- hypoallergenic. How are the fuck you say the word? I have a lot of allergies, and the the ones like grass are extremely severe. Uh, sometimes they can put me in the hospital if not taken care of. So I'm now an hour away from any stores, an hour and a half away from my home with no allergy meds in the middle of the woods, fucking with shit, moving heavy pieces of wood, uh, trying to fix a truck that isn't mine, even though mine needs to be fixed, but fuck me. Um, so that sucked, and hurt a lot, and I, I, I ended up losing weight because of it. I got so sick that I lost three pounds, um, which, three pounds isn't a lot of weight, and a lot of people want to lose weight. Uh, but I shouldn't, I'm, I'm very small, um, at, at the most I've ever weighed was like 160, uh, 160 pounds, uh, a person of my weight should be, a, a person of my height and measurements and shit, I should be about 160, ish, 160, 150 in that area, oftentimes I'm like 125, 130, I, I barely am able to gain weight, even though I eat like a pig, But I got so sick I started losing weight, which sucks ass. Also, I'm not able to eat anything at this point because my teeth are still fucking jacked up from the dentist stuff. Yay. Uh, What else happened Tuesday? Oh, uh, he decides... My little cousin, who I will not be saying the name of, but my little cousin, he has a lot of behavioral issues. A lot. Um... And he's done some stuff that a 10-year-old should not do. 
And when I say stuff a 10-year-old shouldn't do, I mean, he did it. He started doing the stuff when he was eight. Well, no. Six. So he's been doing some fucked up shit. Um, from sexual things that a child should not be doing, to trying to do drugs, to getting into fistfights, stealing equipment from, from schools. Uh, he stole a fire extinguisher from a bus. He's not a bus rider. He, the school's right beside my house. He broke into a bus, stole the fire extinguisher, broke it, and then threw it into some dude's yard, and it, like, broke his window or some shit, and there was, like, a court case over that, and blah, 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 but he has a lot of behavioral issues, and this little fucker takes meds for these behavioral issues, and they have been, uh, not perfect, but helpful. He, he used to have his outbursts day after day after day after day. With the meds, it's been closer to, like every five days, give or take, uh, and my dad decides, I'm not letting him take that medicine. Huh? Yeah, so my dad just doesn't let him take his psych meds. So he's pissed off every single fucking day, and then my dad beats his ass for him being upset every single fucking day. But you're not letting him take the meds that make him feel better and make him do better. Um... Be simply because my dad doesn't believe in, like, doctoral science, I guess. So, ever since Tuesday... Oh, I'm recording this the morning it's going out. Um, it, it's been a week. One week ago was the Friday after this Tuesday, so it's been now about a week and a half. Um, and the kid just keeps getting worse, and my dad just won't let him take his medicine. Because, fuck you. Um, so that sucks. Um, and that's Tuesday stuff. I have been... I have been doing nothing but hard manual labor... Oh, this past week and a half, or whatever it is, um, and I'm allergic to all the shit I'm touching, so I've been extremely sick, I've been extremely, um, sensitive, I've been throwing up a lot, barely able to contain food, I hate life, uh, and that's just Tuesday of last week, wahoo, um, wetness day comes around, and it starts with kids getting in trouble, that's fun. All of them. Um, and then, uh, once again, me driving to my dentist appointment. Yay. Which, fuck it, fine. Uh, and then I got, like, actual shit done. This wasn't just, like, a checkup and, like, a little bit of, of like, a sedative that, like, helped me rest or whatever. And then, like, a couple of little baby things. No, they, like, tore my shit off and my mouth was swollen and I could barely talk and blah, 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 blah. Um, but... Before I say what did happen, I'm going to say what was supposed to happen. Um, I was supposed to take my little 2006 um, Chevy, Chevy Silverado, uh, which is not a very big vehicle, and pull his, uh, his, um, his giant like 2019 Ford F-250, that big-ass truck. Yeah, I was going to have to pull it with, with nothing but a chain uh, about two hours on the freeway, uh, neither of us have a license, by the way, and instead of him, the more experienced driver, pulling the truck, uh, it was gonna be me, um, really fucking smart, right, um, also, it was gonna be 12-ish, 13, 14, 15, something like that, minutes after, I, I was gonna have to start driving, like, 15 minutes after this surgery, uh, very smart and smart. Like I could, I could definitely see and all that. That I could definitely see and talk and blah, 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 and do everything important that that is needed for, for like consciousness. I definitely had all that. I promise. No, I didn't. But that was the original plan: is that I was going to have to tote his truck for like two hours while still off my tits from from my appointment. Um, that did not happen uh, because we learned that we couldn't get his fucking truck to, like, go into to gear to be pulled. 
uh, which sucks for fixing the truck, but it's cool for me not having to do that. What else happened Wednesday? Um, he embarrassed me in front of my whole family uh, by making fun of the fact that I'm allergic to everything and then uh, throwing shit at me to, to prove it because people just don't believe that, I guess. So that sucks. Um, really ass. Not very fun. Um, Wednesday, what else did we do? We fucking took up my grandma's porch and rebuilt it. Uh, which, it looks cool and all, yeah, great, but also, allergic reactions out the ass, and I was so incredibly not energized afterwards, I was so worn out, I was so worn out, dude, like, I like, faint I fainted walking into the living room, so that sucked ass, that sucked, um, Thursday, Thursday, we went out to my, my uncle's again, this place in the woods that's way too far away from everything, and what did we do? Thursday feels empty. I don't know what I did Thursday. I know it was some stupid shit, a lot of labor, and then stupid shit, but I don't remember what, so we're going to skip to Friday, I guess. Uh, to Friday, uh, the two youngest children here, uh, the one with the behavioral issues, and the very youngest out of the fucking seven, um, they got into a fist fight before school, uh, so that sucked, and then, uh, instead of being impartial and being like, hey, kids, don't fight, or instead of being like, hey, small male child, don't hit females, or, hey, kids, you shouldn't be fighting each other, we're a family, we're supposed to love each other, instead, he just goes off on them, but not for the fight, just individual bullshit reasons, like, oh, you're just doing this so that I'll put you back on your meds, because that's a, yeah, um, and then on the other kid, it's, you're just doing it because your mom's not here, which is kind of fucked, neither of those seem like very adult ways of handling th these children, right, but fuck that. Uh, then we take them to school, and they get into a fight on the way there, in the backseat of my truck, which is why it's a fucking mess now, instead of being the clean little pretty bad I made it. Um, so that sucked. Uh, after that, what did we do Friday morning? We went, and we bought, because this is how we finished building the porch, we had to go to, like, a... I don't know what you'd call it, like a hardware store, and buy a bunch of cinder blocks, and then he got pissed off because it was all of his money to, to get all of them. I'm like, okay, fuck you, I, okay, you want to buy them, don't complain that it costs all your money. Um, but we finished the porch, which was helpful, and then, um... At this point, my dad starts being a little fucking weird. Um, and I, I don't mean weird as in, like, the asshole. I mean genuinely just kind of weird. Uh, then he started asking, like, my for my help on getting him laid. What type of fucking weirdo needs their kid to help them have sex? He, he... Like... I'm your... There's proof you had sex, I'm your kid. Fuck you mean you need help getting laid? The fuck does that mean? But he was asking for my help and shit, and that was weird. Um, and then in the hallway, he's like, "Man, I gotta fucking fix my pubes." And then he just shows me his dick and balls, just showing me his pubes, which was extremely awkward and gross as fuck. Uh, shortly after that, um, he is talking to a girl randomly. Uh, that he's known for a bit, but has not been romantic with, because he's been locked the fuck up for three years, but, uh, he's talking to a girl, and then I take a nap, I wake up, and she's just in our home, uh, she seems like a sweet lady, though, and I feel really bad for her, because she's surrounded by an asshole, um, I... 
really like this girl. She seems extremely sweet and kind, and she seems like good people. Um, but she is romantically entwined with my father, who is uh, not sweet or kind, or what I believe to be good people, uh, which is pretty fucked. I feel bad for her, but what am I going to do? Say, don't touch my dad. What was that? That a bee? There was a bee just back there. But, uh, that was a weird thing to wake up and just find in my home. Um, the rest of Friday, I think, was pretty regular for me. Just people yelling everywhere. The cops showed up at my house, which was really weird. Um, but they didn't show up for my dad, which is what I thought. They showed up to see my aunt. And none of us knew why. And then what happened was uh, my aunt, ch the youngest child here, and then a neighbor child went with the lady who rents our extra room. Uh, and they went to pick up food, I think. I don't know. Um, but the lady who rents our extra room, she was drunk and driving I think double the speed limit and got pulled over and the children were freaking the fuck out. My aunt had to go pick them up and now my whole family hates that lady, understandably. Um, but also the, the thing that pisses me off, I understand being upset with her because I, I'm upset with her. But every single one of these people who are mad has done that to these children multiple times in different ways and in that exact way. So shut the fuck up. Hypocritical assholes, shut the fuck up. Um, but that was, that was Friday. Saturday sucked ass too. So, <sighs> Saturday was a fucking trip. So, I wake up, and then, what happened immediately? There was something stupid. Oh, the, the kids... Uh, didn't feed or water the dog for two and a half days, apparently. Which is pretty fucked. So yeah, I realized that the dog in our backyard uh, hadn't been fed or watered in two days. And I was like, God, fucking damn it. So I gave the dog water and food, and I let her off her leash, and played with her, and brought her inside, and ba 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 But that's a dick. Um... And for those who were longtime viewers of the channel, you know that there was a dog in the backyard before this named Max. And, uh, Max was a good boy, but nobody here would take care of him for some fucking reason. And then people on the internet would yell at me that I was a bad, like, dog parent, even though it wasn't my dog. And all the stuff they said was good, I did, and the stuff that was bad, other people did. So fuck those people. But this dog is not in that sort of situation. She's taken care of, other than the fact that these people don't know how to give it food and water. But I gave Trixie food and water, and I took care of her, and ba 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 Then, uh, everybody, uh, so, everyone except for the lady who stays in our extra room, so, me, my aunt, uh, my dad, uh, and then, that ex, the girl who, uh, is, in, is into my dad, uh, and then seven kids. So that's 11 people stuffed into... Uh, I believe it was, it might have been two vehicles, but I, I feel like it was just my truck. Um, it, it was probably two vehicles. Um, but we all went out to that area in the middle of the woods with my uncle. And I had so many allergic reactions. I threw up three times. Uh, my skin looked like I was sunburnt because it all turned red. Um, I didn't get to eat any of the food, uh, because... I just couldn't keep it down, and also the dessert was a pineapple thing, and I'm allergic to pineapple, so fuck me. Um, and I helped my cousins with a bunch of stuff, because they wanted to play with stuff, and I hate when the adults are like, yeah, you can play with stuff, but then they don't give them, like, anything to do. It's just like, go play with shit, and it's like, here's the woods, it's just like, I can't join them for that, because I'll fucking die. But, we did stuff, we went and sat in a deer stand, which was weird, because I don't like hunting. Uh, if you hunt, I don't have anything against you. I just, I don't like doing it. 
Uh, I completely understand why people do it, and I eat the meat. I'm not a fucking person who's going to get on to you for doing it. Um, and then I went out on a boat, which was weird, because I don't like fishing. It wasn't like a fun boat, it was like a fishing boat. Uh, but I don't fish. Once again, if you do, cool. I don't, because I can't eat fish. Um, but I had such a bad allergic reaction and asthma attack. I, I, I've had, since my dad has come home, I've had six different fucking asthma attacks. Alongside plenty of panic attacks, but we're not going to get into those yet. Because there's a fucking bad one. But while that, my uncle's out here in the middle of the woods, I had a really shitty allergic reaction. Wahoo! And I, I'm in the back of my truck. I'm sitting on top on top of the truck. Uh, and I'm getting down. Because they're saying you should go inside. Because I'm hyperventilating. And my face is red. And I'm not breathing. Um, but... I get down, I'm like, oh shit, my drink's up there. So I step one foot on the tire, one foot on the, like, side of the bed of the truck, and then I reach for my drink, and my foot on the tire slips, and I black out for like a third of a second, I slam onto that side piece, fall into the grass, uh, and then I wake up as I'm falling, so I'm, I don't hit the ground to sleep, I hit the side of the truck asleep, but like, as I hit it, I wake up, I fall, um, and I'm like, get the fuck away with me, let me go inside, I hate you people, you suck dick, I didn't say any of that, I just said, just don't touch me, and I went inside, and I tried to eat, couldn't, uh, and then I fell asleep, and I slept from like 6pm, we were out there all fucking day, I slept from like 6pm until like 8am-ish, um, and then when I woke up, I still wasn't feeling good, and I took a little bit of allergy meds, but I, I didn't feel good. Uh, and then my dad was like, go buy syrup. Excuse me? Go buy syrup. And he sent me with a $1 bill to go buy syrup, uh, which means I just had to fucking buy the syrup anyway, because uh, fucking $1 will not pay for that. <laughs> it was like it was like 280 or something, so I still had to fucking buy it. Um, but I came back. And fucking. I came back and then he had made pancakes, but they were charcoal. Because he can't fucking cook. Um, but he made pancakes that are the same color as uh, that and that and back here and back here, all that. Um, so fucked. Fuck a me. Um. Then we had to clean up uh, a shed, uh, and I'm allergic to wood. And it's a wooden shed filled with a bunch of like cedar and stuff. That, that was very smart to have me do. I went out there and cleaned that shit, and had another allergic reaction. Wahoo! Um, and then I went back to sleep because I felt like dog ass. And when I woke up, all my cousins were back for my uncles. Yay! And they were all fucked. They were all super dirty, and, um, it's a Sunday, meaning they all have school the next morning, and my dumbass dad doesn't have the common sense to make them take showers, so then I have to get them to do that, which made them all very, very mad at me, uh, so fuck me, um, so that was, that was my week, uh, and then we'll get into this week, cause it hasn't been easier, uh, Monday, what happened Monday? Took the kids to school. Can't think what happened Monday. Monday, we cleaned out the, the kid who needs the psych meds and isn't allowed to take them for some fucking reason. Um, we cleaned his bedroom. All of it. We had to take all of his shit out of his bedroom. And all of his stuff was covered in pee. So much pee. All of the pee. His floor was changing color because of how much pee there was. One of his dressers had to be gotten rid of because the bottom of it had corroded and become a bunch of black mold from the pee. We had to get him a new, like, a bed set because of the pee. Had to throw away a bunch of his clothes because of the pee. There was so much fucking pee. Uh, and then that led to my dad and my aunt um, bleaching the whole room. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, bleach and ammonia is mustard gas. 
uh, and P is ammonia. Um, they made fucking mustard gas, and then I had an asthma attack that was so bad that uh, I used my I used my inhaler, and I was sitting outside, and it got to the point where I genuinely, like, I sat down, and the action of me sitting back put me to sleep. I blacked out from sitting down. That's how bad this asthma attack was, which is, that's fucked. That's, that's fucked up. Um, and then they just kept throwing bleach at everything and not giving a fuck about the fact that I couldn't breathe. Uh, so fuck them. But yeah, I had like two asthma attacks over the fucking mustard gas, which sucked dick and balls. Um, and then my grandma finally fucking came home. Uh, for those who, if I, I don't know if I explained this earlier, uh, she's the homeowner and she's like the boss of everything in here. Uh, and she's been gone the entire time that this fucker's been home. So it's been me, him, and every once in a while my aunt. And that's fucking it whenever it comes to adults and then children. So whatever he says about the children goes. Uh, which kind of makes no fucking sense because he doesn't live here, I do. And he doesn't know the kids, I do. And he doesn't take care of them every fucking day, I do. But yeah, fuck me and all of my, my choices and opinions, right? Um... But that was Monday, because after I after that and blacking out and asthma attacks, I was like, huh, I don't I don't wanna I don't really wanna I'm not necessarily wanting to chill out here. Fuck these people. Um, yeah, um, the kid peed peed in his floor that afternoon. By the way, after we cleaned everything, he just pissed in his floor to be to be mean. Uh, so that's cool. Tuesday was spent on on the living room and cleaning everything out of it, um, which fucking sucked. And we did it, and it's pretty normal. And then the kid got in trouble at school, and my dad beat the fuck out of him. Um, speaking of my dad beating the fuck out of people, my cousin Brooklyn, who lives in another room, um, that fucker. I'm down with saying her name. She's fucking 16. I don't give a fuck. I just don't want to say the name of the tiny ones. Um, she went on a rant uh, about how bad of a, of a caretaker my grandmother is. Um, which I will not... I will not uh, express too much of what I think about that. Because <laughs> she, she's kind of right. But she's not wrong. She... Hmm. My grandma takes care of children. But she's not a good person. I don't think. Uh, she gives us a house and food and water. And other than that, eh. Um, but she went on that rant. And then my grandma was like, clean your fucking room. And then they were like, if we, are, if we have to leave the door open, we're not cleaning shit. Uh, and that went on for 40 minutes for some reason. Um... And then my grandma went in there, and I don't know what started it, but they got into a fist fight. I don't know who started it, who laid their hands first, but they got into a fist fight. Um, so that's cool. That's awesome. Yay. Then my dad came in and beat the fuck out of my cousin, because you don't hit my mom. Um, but yeah, he beat the shit out of her, and then also beat the shit out of the younger one for getting in trouble at school and stuff. Um... But that was, that was pretty fucked, and then they took the kid's door away, uh, because they said they, they wouldn't clean unless it was shut, so they took the fucking door, and said, fuck you. Um, anything else happened Tuesday? I don't think anything else happened Tuesday, I think it was just kids getting their asses beat. Yeah, I think it was just kids getting their ass beat, and then... Wednesday, uh, I cleaned my shit in my room by myself, because when it comes to everybody else's rooms, I have to help, but when my room comes to it, nobody has to help me, so fuck you, right guys? You fuck this guy. Uh, but yeah, I cleaned my room and a closet. This closet is not my shit. The closet has been in there since, uh, the earliest thing I found in there was 2003, and the latest was 2019. 
Um, so yeah, a lot of shit in there that is not mine and has and, and has been in there a long fucking time. Isn't my shit, by the way. Uh, but I I had to clean it all, um, and and get in there with bleach and fucking pine saw and all that. And I had to. Well, my dad got the wood for me. I had to like replace the flooring and shit. Uh, but I, I, I had to deal with all that, uh, and then I was like, I've been getting yelled at to do this for, for like, five years, maybe, maybe somebody will be happy, and then my grandma comes in, and she looks at it, and she goes, yay, I'm proud of you, and then she immediately, immediately goes off on me, because my dresser's dirty, fuck off, it's like, you did good cleaning this, anyway, this is disgusting, that corner over there is nasty, this dresser's fucked, and also your floor needs to be mopped, uh, so, like, I get it, tell me to clean stuff, that's fine, but, like, give me some time to fucking feel good about getting something done, I'm an autistic kid, I don't fucking do everything at once, I'm a fucking little autistic bean who can't handle existing, um, ooh, I can talk about this now, my dad keeps complaining about being overstimulated, because he's been locked in a room or a couple rooms, for, for, for three years, so, going into stores, going out in public, stuff like that, it's kind of new to him again, it's kind of, it's overstimulating, and he keeps complaining to me about it, and I'm like, dude, this is how I felt since I was fucking born, every time I get uncomfortable around, like, you, or another person, I, I'm overstimulated, I'm, I'm a, I'm a fucking retard, like, a I got the paperwork coming in. Like, I am a fucking little sped ball. And you've never given a fuck about my overstimulation issues. You still don't. You're overstimulated right now. Cool. I was overstimulated an hour ago, and you didn't fucking care. You forced me to do more shit that was uncomfortable, so shut the fuck up. I, I hate that shit. There, there's so much, like... Uh, uh, there's so much, like, oh, woe is me. Also, go fuck yourself if you have the same issue. Uh, so fuck that. Also, they keep... My family continues to treat... They continue to treat my genuine issues as if I'm making stuff up or if it's excuses. Fuck you guys. Um, new, new... We got that segment done now. I guess I can fucking figure out what I'm gonna do for the next segment. <laughs> New camera angle. New camera angle just dropped. Babe, wake up. New camera angle. Uh, I'm gonna talk. About, I'll talk a little bit about, about a little bit about some YouTube stuff. Whoa. Um, my, 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 my YouTube things have not been doing great. Um, the second episode of this podcast did really bad in comparison to the first. The first got 570 ish, whereas the second got like 40. Uh, which is a very steep drop. Um, the reception on it was still positive. Like, all the stuff that was said in the comments and stuff was positive, but it was a lot less, which is extremely disheartening and makes me feel bad. Uh, but I guess there's nothing I can do about it other than hope that this one does better than that. Um, my subscriber count went down... So I'm about to bust somebody's fucking kneecaps in. We don't do that here. My sub count doesn't go down. That shit is illegal. Uh, it was one, nope. Two, nope. It was 349. Uh, right before I started recording this, it was 348. That's bad. Go back. The highest I've seen it was 350. It was 350 and it's gone down by two. So that needs to, that needs to be fixed. If you're watching this and you're already subbed, share it with somebody and make them subscribe. Um, my count doesn't go down. That's illegal. That's bad. That does not happen. It don't. You fix. You fix. I break. I break knee. Okay. Um. But there's that. Uh, another YouTube thing. A lot of stuff that's been going out over the past week and a half has been dog shit. Uh, because I haven't had time to sit down and record. Uh, since my dad's been here, I've recorded maybe three things, and each of them have been less than five minutes. Uh, 
other than one. One thing was like 14 minutes, but everything's been like less than five minutes because I haven't had the time to sit down and do something. Uh, because there's so many fucking people here and they always need something and blah, 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 blah. Doo-doo dog ass. Uh, but this is my first time recording something in a minute, so everything's been coming out real short, which is not what I want. I want long-form form stuff, and it's been really shitty quality, which is not what I want. And more than both of those, it's also been extremely bad reception-wise, because it's not good. So why are, why would any of you guys, why would any of you watch it? Um, so everything's been getting really doo-doo views, um, and doo-doo comments, and likes, and da 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 uh, which sucks dick, sucks dick, it sucks dick. Um, but yeah, that's not fun. Um, another YouTube thing, I, I guess, technically, my first, my first song came out today, well, yesterday, as, uh, it'll, it, it came out Wednesday, this comes out Friday, um, go, go check it out, it's the internal flame, go listen to new song, intern flame, flame of the inside, uh, it's sort of a shit post, but I mean, it's fun. It's fun shit post. It's got a little bit of goof to it. Uh, no bad reception to it. The only comment it has is positive on the Discord. People are being nice. Shout out to the Discord, by the way. Uh, to all the fuckers. To all the fuckers in the Discord, if you're watching this. What's up, guys? I fucking love you, dudes. If you're watching right now and you're from the Discord, fucking comment a Baba da Biba. Fuck it. Comment something about a Baba da Biba or some shit. Co comment something from the Discord. Uh, 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 speaking of, the Discord uh, link should be in the bottom of the, in the top of the description or some shit. It'll be in there. Um, speaking of the Discord, uh, if you're interested in a in a Minecraft server uh, that I will be on sometime soon, my internet's been doo doo ass for a while. My dad broke it the other day. Um, but, if you're interested in a Minecraft server, go to the Discord, and then go to the, to the Minecraft, to the, to the, to the fucking channel about Minecraft, because we got a little Minecraft server put together by my boy Floris. Hi Floris, Floris, if you're watching this, I don't want you to know I fucking love you, dude, dude, you're so fucking cool. Oh, I fucking god, dude. I fucking love Floris, dude, that dude's awesome. If I could, I'd talk to that fucker more. I love that little dude. Hi Floorbore, I like you, my friend. You are a very nice person. I think you are to be keep. You are stay in the Discord. You are stay on the YouTube. Okay, my friend, you are to stick around. But yeah, shout out to my boy Flores for putting together a mod pack and then a fucking server. We we love you, you big fucking goober. Um, another shout out and an update, sort of a YouTube thing. My boy Amadin. Hello, Amadin Beans at youtube.com slash Hammond and Beans. I fucking like you. You're like my best friend. I love you. Holy shit. Um, yeah, shouts out to Hammond and Beans uh, for getting me back into YouTube over and over for being my best friend for almost 10 years now. Uh, yeah, fuck. Uh, shouts out Hammond and Beans for uh, carrying... Uh, my channel during the times where I literally couldn't do anything uh, and making videos for me. I fucking love you, dude. You're awesome. Um, one last shout out to Amadin. That motherfucker's trying to make it where I have a house. Uh, well, a place to live. It's not really a house, but uh, shouts out to Amadin for trying to make it where I'll have a place to live and not have to be stuck with these people who are very bad for me. I love you, dude. You're my fucking best friend, and I can't wait to fucking say uppies and then be lifted into the fucking atmosphere. Um, any more YouTube stuff I want to talk about before this is over? Um, um, apart from this, I want to do a couple more series. I have a couple ideas. I want to get back to the Lovecraftian literature thing. I just need the time to sit down and read those stories uh, and I haven't been given those that time um I should be able to get one of those done for this next week that's coming up the week of the uh 20th 
um, I should be able to to get one set for that Monday. Um, if not, the next week will be the start. But I want to try to do that weekly on Mondays because it's a, it's a fun little series that doesn't take too much like quality or anything. It's just reading, and I post it. You guys seem to like the first episode. It did pretty well, and uh, all the comments were positive and stuff. So thank you. Um, another thing I want to do, uh, it, it would be kind of kind of a little bit different. Is I want to. Um, fuck. I have this series I want to do, um, I don't know how I want to, how to do it though, I want to like, I've been talking about this for months, I've got the first, like, thing for it made, I just have to figure out how to record it correctly, um, but it's like a, it's like a slideshow of how to, how to blank, the first one is how to be a YouTuber, uh, and I think it's pretty fucking funny, I just have to figure out, I don't have a microphone anymore. And I can't screen record on the laptop, so I have to get a new microphone before I can record, like, the, the OBS and stuff with audio on the, like, shitty computer in there. Um, so, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do audio for that, because my phone won't connect to it for some reason, and the laptop's audio, for some reason, won't transfer to anything other than the laptop. So I gotta figure that out, but I think that'll be fun when I can get it figured out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's YouTube stuff. That's, that's the, that's the YouTube things for now, Master Bubba. Bubba has the YouTube here for now, boy. Let me tell you. It's that part of the podcast where I talk about wrestling. Whoa, it's wrestling time. Um, it's time to talk about professional wrestling. Uh, to start. I want to give a little, a little, a little shove to some of the, some of the, some of the YouTube, to some of the YouTube wrestling guys. I want to, I want to shout out because I fucking love those people. Uh, first of all, I want to give a little shout out to the Vibe Boys. Fucking love the Vibe, the Vibe House. Those guys are dope. Shout out Brandon. Uh, uh, Brandon does everything. BDE. Shout out uh, Simply Better AM. Aaron Matthews. Uh, shout out Brent Oakley. Small Afro. Uh, He's not there anymore, but Phoenix Nitro. Shout out to that little fucker. I love that little bean. Love you, Dalt. Uh, give a shout out to the new Legacy Boys. Hello, guys. Shout out to the new Legacy Men, who I would call probably... They're probably the oldest YouTube wrestling group that's still kicking. I love those fuckers, though. Um, uh, shout out to Deadlock, which is... I guess it's new Legacy adjacent. Uh... But shout out Deadlock, shout out Tony Pizza Guy, uh, Sam Pulse, and, uh, fuck, and, uh, and, and John Blood, love you fuckers. Uh, so shouts out to all those little bastards, those little bastards. Um, fuck, I'm all itchy. Um, but, but shouts out to you fucks. And next, let's, let's just get into some wrestling. Let's just get, let's just get into some wrestling. Um. What happened? I'm trying to fucking remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, King and Queen of the Ring is going. Uh, so far, Raw's had some fucking bangers. I'm talking fucking absolute slammers, dude. Gunther and Sheamus was absolutely fucking godlike. That the, Those two were just an infinitely good combo. Good on them. Um, who was the other person Gunther faced? Kofi? Xavier? Who the fuck? He fought both of them, I think. Yeah, he beat Xavier recently. And then he beat Kofi recently. That was good. All of those are good matches. Uh, he's, he's really getting over the fucking single-leg Boston. So good on him. Uh, and then what was the other fucking... There was a bunch of good matches. What was the slammer? Dakota Kai lost, which I thought was weird. I feel like they should push her. She's a very good talent. Um, and then there was that weird fucking match with... Uh, who Who... Zoe Stark, the match with her, and, uh, who's the fucking other chick? Who was in it? I'm bad with names. Ivy Nile. It's Ivy Nile and, uh, Zoe Stark. That match, yeah, um, but every other match was pretty fucking good. Ilya and Ricochet had a fucking banger. Like, I knew Ilya was gonna walk up and have some 
bangers. But I didn't realize Ricochet was going to be the first one. Absolute fucking slammer. The the point where he goes for the fucking... He goes for the Torpedo Moscow and then gets caught in a codebreaker. That shit was fucking dope. And then he fucking... He wins it with the H-bomb. That was sick. Um, but yeah, fucking dope. Um, that shit was sick. That was so fucking dope. Um... That shit was sick. Um, I think that that Raw was built really fucking well. It built the IC title shit between uh, Chad, Sammy, and uh, Bronson. Real fun. Also, Raw has Braun, Braun, and Bronson, but Bronson isn't either of the isn't a son of either Bronson. Or Bronson isn't the son of either Braun. They've got two Brauns and a Bronson on Raw. It's weird. But uh. <laughs> Fucking Raw was good. SmackDown was all right. It, its matches weren't bad, but they weren't as good as Raw's. Uh, Randy and AJ was really unpredictable. It was real fun. I liked that Randy won. Randy being built up for King of the Ring is good. I like it. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Randall. Keep watching. Why am I so yawn? Why do I have to yawn today? Um. Fucking, what, uh, there was another match on SmackDown that really fucking made me go, huh? Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. Naomi lost? What's weird? Felt like she was going, going to get, get a win, but then she didn't. It's kind of fucked. Um, fucking, oh, Logan Paul and, uh, Cody Rhodes are going to have a match. Uh, it'll be a good match, but I'm I'm lost on if it's got to be title versus title, if it's just for the world heavyweight, if it's for both, if it's not for either belt, and it's just like a fuck you, I'm better than you style, th- I don't know. Uh, it's going to be a good match. Promos are probably going to be good. Uh, Logan held himself pretty well against Cody, which I didn't expect uh, in like their promo. I didn't expect that. He's been getting better. Uh but that match is going to fucking slam. Um, but that was SmackDown. This week on Raw, a lot of good shit. And one thing I'm pissed off about. Well, first of all, I want to get into a storyline that I think is pretty fucking cool before I talk about something I'm mad about. Um, I love Punk and Drew. Punk and Drew is so fucking good. The, the, like, little storytelling of, like, Drew leaves, Punk shows up right after, and then calls Drew a coward, and ba 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 And then Drew chases Punk around the building and can't get to him, because Punk keeps going to different areas. Very fun. I don't know if Punk is cleared yet. It's been four months of healing, I think. So Punk should be most of the way, if not cleared. Um, but when they, when, when they finally have their fucking match, dude, just gotta slam. If I had to guess, I would say their first match will be at Money in the Bank, and then their second match would be SummerSlam, maybe. Maybe SummerSlam is their blow-off, I don't know. Um, But I feel like they're going to have one... They're definitely going to have two matches. I would hope for three, because then it's like, Punk can win the first one, uh, since he's the babyface. Then they go into the second one, and Drew dominates and, like, fucking attacks the arm a bunch or whatever. Um, and then in the third match, maybe they do, like, an, like a two out of three, or an Iron Man, or an Extreme, or something. They do something for the third match. Um, but yeah, that's exciting. I love that. Punk will finally get his first singles feud since coming back. Drew's gonna get booked like a fucking main eventer uh, for the first time other than Mania in a goddamn minute. It's been a fucking while. Um, But I'm excited for that. Now let's get into why I'm upset. Jey Uso, I love you. Yeet. I fucking, I love Jey Uso. Jey Uso's fucking dope. I'm into it, right? I'm here. Fucking yeet all day. There's just no fucking way he beat Ilya, bro. 
Bullshit. He didn't boot Dragon off. Bullshit. That was a nightmare. I need to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. No fucking way he beat Dragon off, dude. Last week they built Dragonov up, up like he was going to be the next fucking Goonter, dude. They brought that motherfucker in and said, yeah, watch this banger he can have with Ricochet who's stuck in the mid card. By the way, have you seen his match with Gunther? It's fucking great. Also, we love Ilya here. And then they're like, yeah, uh, Jay beats him clean. What the fuck? How are you going to bring Ilya in, treat him like he's a monster, and then have him get beaten clean in a second fucking match? What I thought was going to happen is SmackDown was going to build their their side up to where it's going to end with, like, Orton going into the finals. And then on Raw, it was going to be fucking Ilya and Gunther going up. And then Gunther's going to fight Ilya, beat him, just barely. And then Gunther and Orton would be the end. But now Ilya's out of it. So they're probably building to fucking Il- uh, a fucking Gunther versus Jay, which we've seen, and we know who would win. There's no like, it's predictable. And then Gunther beats Orton, and then Gunther's king. Yeah, cool. But like, predictability isn't bad in wrestling. But it would have been so much better if it came down to Ilya and Walter. Sorry, Gunther. If it came down to Gunther and Ilya, because then it's like, they both have one win over each other. Gunther has beaten Ilya once, and Ilya has beaten Gunther once. Uh, both times for the NXT UK Championship. Now, no championships. Hey, look, Carr. Uh, one more match, and it goes into a tournament, and the winner goes on to the finals to become king. It's like, it's fucking great. And then you give Gunther his win back, because he 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 can't lose right now. He just lost at Mania, and he's only been... In reality, he has, like, 40 fucking losses last year because house shows and shit. But, like, televised, he's only been beaten by four fucking people. And only two have pinned him, one has choked him out, and then one has gotten a count out over him. So, like, he's very protected when it comes to, like, WWE canon uh, and, like, lore. So you can't let him fucking lose, so you'd give it to him. But now Ilya's not in the fucking... Ilya's not in the fucking King of the Ring tournament anymore. Which is fucking weird. Also, why... Why didn't Xavier get the fucking be in the tournament? He's the... He's ex-King of the Ring? I don't fucking know. We love Xavier Woods. Last week I talked about it. Give Xavier a run. Let Xavier be, like, fucking United States champion. Let he... Ooh... Because Xavier does YouTube on Up, Up, Down, Down. I think he's a great choice to beat Logan for the U.S. title. That'd be fucking sick. Uh, But yeah, I'm pissed off about Alien no longer being in the tournament. Unless they're, like... Unless they're going to do a thing where he gets beaten and then turn... If he doesn't turn heel after losing to Jay, I don't know what the fuck they want to do with him. Because... Face Ilya is interesting, but, like, if he's losing, he's not. It's like fucking Solo. I... Solo would be extremely interesting if he beat, if he won all the time. But because he loses so fucking much, no one cares. And that's how we'll we'll feel about Ilya if he starts fucking losing all the time. We like Ilya Dragunov. He's really fucking good. He puts on banger after banger after banger after banger. But if he's not, if he's losing, there's no fucking pull on him. But that's that. Uh, The King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring pay-per-view is looking like it's going to be a banger. Um... I don't know if it's going to be, like, a regular pay-per-view, and then, like, the ending is going to be the Queen, and then King of the Ring matches, or if there's going to be, like, multiple, like, Gunther and Jay are probably going to be the last two for Raw. Is that match happening on Raw, or is it going to happen at the pay-per-view, and then the final match or SmackDown happens, and then those two winners have been through matches and start the final match already getting their ass, have been, their asses handed to them all already? Like, we don't know. Um, I think it's more interesting if there's more than one match on the show that is for the tournament. But I don't know. Uh, I'm not their booker. And if I was, I'd have a lot more money. Uh, and I'd be bald and have a beard. And be named Paul. And be really cool and tall and really cool and awesome. Hi, Paul. I like you. Paul, you're very cool. Um, but yeah. I... I don't know. 
Uh, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but I'm I'm enjoying myself when it comes to wrestling. Also, I've been having so much fun with my fucking universe mode. I like made I got all my own titles and shit, and I'm running my own my own guys, and I made me. And I'm fucking working on making, like, this fucking badass, uh, fucking Joshi wrestler right now. I haven't come up with her name yet, but I fucking love Joshi wrestling. And I've been putting her together, and she's fucking sick, and she's got a dope attire, and her fucking hair's sick, and she's fucking, oh, she's so fucking cool. And her moveset's fucking dope, and she fucking, ooh, I fucking love Joshi I love wrestling. Wrestling's so fucking Sick. Sick. If I could, I would stream my universe mode stuff, but I, I, I can't, for some reason, can't get my PlayStation to, to run to my computer for OBS stuff. So, fuck me. Um, I guess that's the end of wrestling stuff. Uh, I, I guess. I, I mean, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no. Hello, I'm laying down now, people of the internet. I am the lay down time. Lay down. Lay down time, please. Uh, this is the part of the podcast where I talk about my relationship. Woohoo! Uh, cause I do this, apparently. Uh, hi. Um, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk about my little, my little Jasper. Jasper, you're probably not seeing this, cause you are not the type to sit on YouTube and look for shit. Uh, you probably don't even know I got you. But hi, Jasper. I fucking love you, dude. You fucking dope, and you made me happy and shit. So that's cool. Um... Thank you for being you and letting me be me and being so nice and sweet and shit. You're fucking dope, dude. I like you. Maybe a little bit. Not a lot, though. Not gay or nothing. Definitely don't have a crush on you or nothing. That'd be fucking gay. Um. But yeah. Hair check. But yeah. I uh, fucking relationship time. Go positive mode. Also. Dig it through my closet. I found this fucking like little, little jumper type beat. This little, this little like, I don't know what you'd call this, like a crew neck, like a crew neck sweater. I fuck with this. I don't remember where I got this from. It's a little big on me, and it's got like a lot of room up here. Maybe I got it from like an ex, like girlfriend or something. Cause there's a lot of boob room that I I don't fill. But uh, very fun, very cool. Uh, feels extremely comfy. Also, I got a little bear. So you, welcome to the EP time. Welcome to the EP time podcast. <laughs> welcome to the Big Eepers podcast. Uh, today, I'm taking a big old fucking eep. Uh, fucking, um, I don't know what else to say about my relationship. I'm happy. I'm romantically fulfilled. We got a little bit of a distance problem, but I mean, eh. Um... We're planning, we don't know when, because fucking conflicting schedules, but, uh, we're trying to see each other in public, in per, per, perps, and per, and we're trying to see each other car, card, person, fuck, we're trying to meet up in person, which would be really fun, um, I don't know when that'll get to happen, but that's, that's what we're trying to do, um, it'd be very fun. It'd be very nice. Dinners and cuddles. Yes, please. And things I will not talk about because this is YouTube. And I want to be... Uh, I'm not now, but at some point I would like to be monetized. <laughs> um, Yeah. That's for fun. I fuck with it. Um, But yeah, fucking... Hi Jasper, you're not saying this because uh, there's no fucking way I tell you about my fucking YouTube because I'm I'm embarrassed. But if you see this, I fucking I love you, dude. You're you're my, you're like the guy. <laughs> you're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Fucking I love that meme. You're that guy, pal. Can I be? I need to record that. I can be the I can be the I can be like the good ending because he's like you're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. I can I can be the good ending. You're that guy, pal. Good on you. Uh Why does my why does my default DT go to the fucking coconut mall theme? That's awesome. Um What do I have to do today? I'm trying to figure out if there's any shit I have to do today. 
Oh, fuck. Yeah, I got dental stuff done since we talked last, guys. Um, and it hurt a lot. And now I know that there's a lot more. I've got a bunch of wisdom teeth I need taken out. And one of them is still on my jaw. Like, down on, like, on my jaw because it didn't come up. Uh, and then I have a, uh, it's on this side. I have a tooth that apparently I just did, I didn't grow. Like, a normal one that you're supposed to grow. Like, close to the back. And I never grew it in. Uh, but there's a hole for where it's supposed to grow in. I don't have it, though. Um... And they have to, like, figure out how to close that, because it's apparently not good for me. And then the one above it, because it hasn't been hitting the bottom one, has just been coming down further and further, so they gotta get rid of it. And then there's the one on my jaw, and then the two, like, regular wisdom teeth. But yeah, fuck me. Um, so June 3rd, which, as I'm recording this, is... Shit, on the days. 15... 15, 19 days away. Nope. Fuck. Uh, 15. 18. It's 18 days away. Uh, but when that happens, I'm gonna be fucked up for a minute. Uh, when is June 3rd? What, what time of the week is that? The 3rd is a Monday. So, yeah, I'd be able to get a podcast recorded afterwards. Okay, cool. But yeah, uh, June... Third, I do dental stuff, and then, unless there's complications, I'm done with my dental stuff. Uh, originally, we thought there was going to be, like, two or three more. We thought there was going to be two or three more surgeries, but they think they can get everything they need done, done, um, which I'm hoping for. I hate, I hate getting surgeries done and shit. Sucks ass. They think they can handle it all in one go without messing with stuff, um... But they don't want to overdo it because of the swelling and that sort of complication. So, we're, ju- we're hoping that they, that they get this stuff done in one go and I don't have to keep going back. Other appointment stuff. Uh, uh, my, little, my, little, my little autism stuff. Um, I have two more appointments for my stuff about autism and ADHD and fucking ADD and all that shit. Uh... The September, I think, I've got two appointments for that, and then I'm done with those appointments probably for the rest of my life. Oh, um, like September 9th and then like 23rd or something. I've got to go get my final two little appointments done with that, um, which will be helpful because that stuff. Ooh, I kicked my door open, and now there's light. Do I want to close this with my feet? Can I? I don't know if I can close this with my toes. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm getting my autism assessment stuff done finally. Which, I've, I've kind of had it done before, but never really. And like, I've always had doctors tell me I am... But I've never had a professional whose job it is to tell me, tell me. So we're waiting on that. But, like... The the people I've talked to so far that are the professionals, all of them have been like, You're not. Yes, he is. Um... But, um... That's gonna be fun. I'm excited for those results and stuff. Because I want to, I've always wanted to understand more about, like, what's up with me. Because when you don't know what's up with you, it's very, it's hard to understand and, and care and love, like, parts of yourself that, like, you don't know why you're that way. But, um, hopefully, hopefully when that stuff comes in, I, I am able to understand a little better. Make me feel better about it. Um, though I would love to sit here and rant more, and I, I, I do, I do wish I could, um, I've got about 20 minutes left of peace and quiet before I have to start waking kids up and getting people ready for, for school and getting adults ready for work and all that, um, so I think I'm about to sign off, um, I'm gonna end by saying thank you again, uh, to all of you who watch. Uh, whether it's just a view for a couple seconds or you watch these whole things. 
Uh, I'd like to thank you all who, who like, and all who subscribe, and all of you who comment, and all of you who share. It means, it means a lot to me. Um, I genuinely thank you so, so very much for all you guys do for me. It, it, it really, it affects me on a, on a deep personal level. Um, so thank you. And expect more stuff over the following couple, couple weeks. Uh, I'm gonna try to get more stuff figured out, get more record, recording stuff done. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got is thank you. And thank you for watching. If you watched, if you watched all the way through, if you, if you, if you, if you watched this all the way through, if you watched this all the way through, all the, all the way, okay. If you watched this all the way through, uh, comment Koi Fish Cuddle Party. Fuck it. Koi Fish Cuddle Party in the comments if you got this far. Bye-bye, guys. Love y'all.